Hey guys, what's up? It's Grace 2000 here. And I'm, first of all, I'm sorry about the noise up there. A light in the lighting, because that light is literally about to go out. I just tried to show you, but it's sort of hard. Yeah. So I'm sorry about that noise, but oh, let's get right into the video. And I'm also sorry for the view. It's just not in a little spot. And so it's not so good. And so the first thing you need are a two a pot plates. I took paper and I believe I have three, but you only need two. So let's put that one away. Yeah. Next, you will need some paint. I have green, yellow, and red. And you can, I may use more colors, just I'm not sure yet. And what goes with paint? A paintbrush. So of course you will need different sizes of paintbrushes. You will need a big size, a little bigger size, and a small size. It doesn't matter. And I'm not. And we might use a sponge brush. I'm not exactly sure. I have an idea in my head, but I know what I'm going to do at first. Except I'm not sure if I'm going to use the sponge brush. So. Just keep it in handy. Hey, the light's working. Well, that was random. And also, your option is Christmas stickers. I have ribbon and snowflakes. So, let's get started. You will also need a bowl of water. I'm using the same bowl that I'm using that I paint with every single time. And so, yeah. Okay, so this is the reason I was thinking about the sponge brush. I am going to use my sponge brush. And I'm going to actually take some blue. And you're going to need some blue. I'm sorry if I'm missing things. I sometimes, I get other ideas that would be good. And so I use them. And so you are going to coat your whole plate. And the reason you have your second plate is if you need to pour some paint out. Like me. Because my sponge brush can't fit into here. It's too small. Look at that out of junk. It looks funny. I'm sorry. And then you want to make sure to put your cap back on because you don't want it to do your dry. And you are going to take some of your paint and paint it all. 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 I will show you after. Okay, so I've almost done all of my plate but the outsides it got all it's getting a little hard and so i'm going to use a thin brush or whatever kind of brush you use i'm probably going to use this brush and go along and make sure you get every white spot okay okay so there was a huge problem with my camera and by the way i finished all of it all of this and you will be doing a second coating so if you want to you can skip past this part so, well, while I was painting this, of course my phone turned off. Because once in a while it's happy, but not always. And when I came back on here to record, well, it said that I didn't have enough gigabytes. And so finally I have enough to record. Hopefully you'll finish this video. And if not, you will see the rest in another video. If you're wondering, why did the video cut off? This is what it's what that's why. Okay, so once you have your first coating, remember you don't have to do the back, but at least do the front. You once it's all dry, you can do a second coating, but that is optional. I think it's best. And by the way, if you have bigger brush than a sponge brush, but I think the sponge brush gives it some texture. And the reason I am doing blue is because the sky of like a dark blue but I don't want it to be brown and that's my darkest blue and so yeah I'm just gonna do another layer see how it looks and I might do a third but I'll tell you if I do okay so I tried out drawing some Christmas trees but it didn't work so well so I'm going to be going with the stencil I took time sitting by the TV watching TV cutting it out for you guys but I didn't cut out the star because I can do a better star than that and so I'm going to put it, you may not be able to see it, but I'm going to put it at the bottom of my Christmas tree. 
And then I'm going to paint it green. So I will show you after. I turned it so you guys could see it. I think it looked out pretty, came out pretty well. I had to make my own green. And I was actually super proud of the green. It looked really good. And so, yeah, I did mess up a couple space, But, of course, your Christmas tree has to have some character. And next, you always have to do the stem. And I just, because you, you have to have some character in your tree. And, of course, I have some up there. there. And now, I need some character in my, what's it called? Trunk. So, I'm going to make my own. And yes, I'm going to be proud of it, even if it turns out bad. And actually, it's pretty good. I think when you add character to your things, it, well, it looks much better when, I mean, it looks good and all, but I think it looks, things look much better when you add character to them. Because don't just copy. I mean, you can copy, but look, I add character to mine. Yeah. Duh. So let's go into our next step. Okay, so once your tree is dry, you can take your red and maybe your blue or your purple and your orange or your yellow, whatever colors you want, and put little tiny dots on them. Little tiny dots. Funny. Sorry. Yeah. And for ornaments, it, it will give it some touch, not just to have. A plain Christmas tree. I would make them big, but not too small. Not too big, but not too small. But I'll show you after. I finished my little tree. I think it looks adorable. And now it is time. I need to make this way. For my star, I'm just going to use my pencil. Put a cute star at the top. If you can see, I did my little star. I know it's there. But I mean, you can just erase the lines after. I'm going to take my yellow. And then, yeah, draw over the lines. And I'm probably going to be doing a couple layers at a time and waiting for it to dry while doing some other things on this plate. And, yeah. At the bottom of my tree, it's hard to see, but, yeah. I did some little presents, and I am going to fill that in with some good cute colors Christmas colors and yeah okay so I did my little presents I think they're adorable okay and so next this is optional but you can take your sneakers that you had and I'm going to put a ribbon here hanging down and of course, I'm going to do a ribbon right over here in about the same place. And yeah, then I'm going to take a, a snow of lake. I'm going to put it right in the middle. I'm sorry. Let me get my dog. So I decided to put more things. And of course, I had to have it centered. I had one more two more stickers left but it would look a little weird with a snowflake here and another ribbon here so i just left it like that i think it is adorable and for our next step make sure you're already and your stuff is dry okay so with my plate i put my two candles on there and hopefully soon i know i'm not allowed to buy anything for before christmas well during that month so maybe after Christmas, I am definitely going to do another plate with that season on it. Well, yeah, that time of year, 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 like Merry Christmas. Sorry, I'm the worst singer. Yeah. So I'm going to be putting, if I can find some, I'll be putting Christmas.